Oh no, I just lost count. <laughs> oh no. I was in the 90s, but I don't know which number. I think I'm gonna have to start over. Uh, uh, one, two. I have already seen 21 angels this morning. I went to mass and then I went to spend some time in the Adoration Chapel in St. Mark's. And I counted 21, but there's one stained glass window at the back of the church that I did not count any of the angels on that. So it's already a gross undercount of the number of angels seen. And I'm kind of expecting that anyways. I found this book, Rustling of Wings, an angelic guide to the Twin Cities, which has a guide to the angel art in the Twin Cities here and some stories of angels too. I am going to use this and I'm going on an adventure. Are you ready to come with? <laughs> Don't expect something for angels to be easy, do you? Ugh. I missed my bus and so I was thinking I would just take the next bus but actually I might go to St. Thomas first and see what what sort of angelic creatures we find there and then we'll go from there. We are here at St. Thomas Aquinas Chapel. I believe there are a few angels in here. Um, so let's go check it out. All right. So I started my angel tour here at the Aquinas Chapel at St. Thomas and actually this might be a fitting place to start because this chapel was built by Emmanuel Masqueré who was the architect of both the St. Paul Cathedral and the Basilica of St. Mary in St. Paul in Minneapolis and those are going to be the bookends of my hunt today and so I guess this is a very fitting place to start. Beautiful chapel and there's a lot of angels in there. I counted 33, but I, again, this is going to be an undercount and you might even, if you were to look at these, yeah, I, I'm missing angels, I know. Now I'm hopefully gonna catch a bus and then we'll see where the good Lord takes me, I guess. Play now. I can do those things. One, two thumbs up for Sister Ray. Did you know that MLK Jr. and Anne Frank could still be alive today? And if they were alive today, they would be the same age, and that is 94 years old. So, crazy. Mm -hmm. Not an angel. Angel? I made it to the Sweet American Swedish Institute free after 3 p.m. every Thursday. Today's Wednesday. I'm gonna come back here tomorrow. Prince. Love is the key. Yeah. It is. <laughs>
28 in there. I did want to say that painting right there of Jesus and the little boy happens to be one of my favorite paintings here at the Mia, and it depicts the scene where Satan is tempting Jesus with a stone and telling him that he can turn it into bread. Um, and God says, man does not live off of bread alone, but off of the word of God, um, something like that. <laughs> Thirty. Thirty angels here and Mia yeah, and I know I missed some, but that that's the way the cookie's gonna crumble this time. I'll be back. Hopefully at some point I love love the art museum. I'm still thinking about the child tempting Jesus, Satan tempting Jesus, and I think like all of us have a desire to want to redefine good and evil ourselves instead of taking it as God has defined it. And we don't do that because evil looks bad or evil looks like it's bad for us. We do it because it looks good. It looks attractive. It looks innocent. I think that just speaks volumes to why we make the choices that we do and why we make wrong choices. Okay, there are a countably infinite number of angels in the Basilica, and I caught, I caught, <laughs> I counted. I only counted 117, and part of that was I didn't want to double count any, and I kind of lost track which ones I counted and which ones I did not. But that's okay. stop and I'm I already see one angel there and this is the last stop of our tour I just saw people go inside so I know we're gonna get very lucky to be able to go in um, I just wanted to note the Cathedral of St. Paul is actually unfinished right now um, it was built by the same architect that did the Basilica and the St. Thomas uh, chapel. Also, I'm sure probably some of the other churches that I've stopped at. I just wanted to mention that the cathedral itself is unfinished. Um, and I think that's just beautiful reflection of also the church as herself as a whole, because the church is not finished, right? The church is still learning more about herself, still growing, still being perfected. And what a, what a awesome thing. All right. So we have 
And one. Two. Three. Four, five. Seven hundred eight. Oh, one hundred nine, one hundred ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two. That's fifty two angels I counted in this room. Built the headboard there, and this is the music room at the Swedish American, the American Swedish Institute. There are fifty two. We okay. have counted them. All right, All right. <laughs> me too. And each one is a little bit different because they're hand carved. I actually got the number in the music room right. <laughs> Final tally of all of the angels. I get to do some of my other things today. <laughs> so, thank you for coming with me, and God bless you. Hope your guardian angels are uh, working hard too.